So we're in the Quirky Carrot Kitchen today with Chef Julia Graham. Hi, Linda. Welcome to the kitchen. Thanks for having us today. I'm so excited to be here. It's the first time I've been on the other side of the counter. I know. We love having you in the dining room, but this is special. This is fun. It is. Mm -hmm. So how did you get started with the Quirky Carrot? I know it was a bit of a long love story for you. It was, yes. I was formerly a teacher, mm -hmm. and I taught a program called Hospitality and Tourism uh, for grades 9 to 12. And through that program, I was encouraging my students to go into this industry to study culinary arts and to follow their passions and the various routes that are available in the industry. And after a little while, I thought uh, that might be my passion too. So here we go. And mm -hmm. you haven't looked back since. I have not. It's yeah. been five years now, Five right? years. We just celebrated our fifth birthday in October. Our, birthday, our birthdays are the same because St. Gary just celebrated oh our gosh. fifth birthday. Well, congrats. Yeah. Really? Five years. Oh Can gosh. you believe it? We're birthday business buddies. We are. Yeah. Yes, in our big girl pants. In our big girl pants. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so today, what are you going to make for us? Well, today we are making a beet Reuben sandwich. So we took, uh, you know, a classic American deli sandwich and we put a little healthier, quirky spin on it. So, um, as I said, it is a take on a classic American deli sandwich, which uses corned beef. Okay. So instead of corned beef, yep. today we're going to use roasted beets. So we oh. sliced um, fresh beets, mm -hmm. you know, like a nice quarter inch thick cut, and we rub them with olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, and some ground sumac, mm. just for a tiny little citrus kick. And we Love roasted that. them in the oven until they were nice and tender. And then, of course, classic for the, the Reuben is sauerkraut. So we have, a, and we love fermented foods here at the Quirky Carrot. Right. We're always trying to encourage our customers to include fermented foods in their diet for improved digestion. And it's just delicious. And we know that our cheese is fermented too. I don't know, double whammy. Right. So good. This so is good for you. This is awesome. Uh, and then we've made a vegan version of the classic Russian dressing. Mm. So we have vegan A's and there's a little bit of ketchup and relish and um, we use miso a little more oh, fermentation there because we just can't get enough mm -hmm. and it makes a really really lovely spread and some fresh arugula for greens mm -hmm. and of course the horseradish dill sangari cheese right. so we're, we're pretty excited about this Let's and yeah we use uh, a sprouted whole grain bread from our friends so at uh, Silver Hills. I know we, we love their breads and another great Canadian brand who are dedicated to healthy ingredients. Canadians have it going on. You know what? We really do. Yeah. Uh, our, our food culture is so diverse, much like our um, demographic. And it's just amazing, the taste of place in Canada and in our province of Ontario. So it's pretty pretty cool. Okay, so we have the Russian dressing and mm -hmm. the horseradish dill fromage. The fromage. So we're yes. going to give a nice, generous layer of Ooh. the fromage. I love horseradish and I think it's such an amazing flavor in this sandwich. So full of flavor. Me too. And it is really quintessential to the, to the classic itself. So mm -hmm. we are paying true homage to it. Mmm. Look at that. Beets on there. We're gonna give it a nice, generous layer of sauerkraut. So tangy. Mm -hmm. I love pickles, so anything pickly to me is really fun. And you get different textures in the sandwich. You know, we've got the creamy fromage and a little bit crunchy um, sauerkraut, and the beets should be nice and tender. And then a nice, generous. Mm -hmm. I have to have green on everything. Oh, I just that's do. Beautiful. So look at that. Isn't she a beauty? Mm. She's beautiful. Yeah. And then for the customers, we'll toast it up on the panini press mm -hmm. and nice. slice and serve. So I should okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks, Julia. So oh are you going to have this on the menu? Yes, we'd like this to become one of our signature sandwiches. So the menu does change daily, but we do have certain days of the week dedicated to feature sandwiches. And we're going to be making the beet Reuben featuring the Zangari fromage, one of our signature sandwiches. So guys, you're going to have to come in here for a taste of this exclusive sandwich by 
our friends at the Quirky Carrot. <laughs>